Hi everyone, this is YML and today's video is the first part of a series that I intend to create regarding object detection in computer vision and study the classical object detection architectures starting with RCNN. The first thing that I would like to clarify at the very beginning is the definition of object detection. Well, you already probably know that machine learning systems, especially those based on deep learning techniques, are pretty damn good at classifying images. However, by going one step further, we may be interested not only in classifying what's in an image as a whole, but actually trying to find and draw boxes around the objects we are interested in. This task, known as object detection, helps us in better disambiguating what happens in a more complex image where there are multiple objects of interest, as is the case in the right image here, where an old lady is walking three dogs, which may be a pretty hard label to guess using a simple classification model. The question now is, how do you do that? The most naive solution we may think about is to have a sliding window that goes through our image and use a classification model that tells us whether the objects we are looking for are in that window or not. Unfortunately, this approach has a major drawback. It generates a lot of windows and because the classification model has to run through each of them, it becomes extremely expensive and time consuming to use such an algorithm. Even worse, what do we do if our objects are too small or too big for the sliding window? Will the sliding window be able to capture the relevant objects in such a way that it does not confuse the classification model? If not, then we have to use multiple sliding windows of different sizes that lead to even more classifications, so even more computation power is required to run this algorithm. This may have worked in the past when classificators consisted of simple linear models, but in the deep learning era, this is not a feasible solution anymore. This is where the region-based convolutional neural network, or RCNN in short, steps in. The RCNN model is a deep learning model that improves the sliding window approach by introducing a clever algorithm called selective search that captures only a certain number of possible regions on which to run the classification model. In addition, it employs a deep retrained CNN model that acts as a feature extractor for a given region, feeding those extracted features to a SVM that classifies the presence of the object within that region. The selective search algorithm is designed in such a way to have a high recall but a low precision, meaning that out of the possible region it selects, many of them would be false positives that we don't really care about since they will most likely be rejected by the classifier. But on the other hand, it will barely miss a region that contains an object of interest to us. So how does it work? It starts by oversegmenting the image using a graph-based segmentation method, creating some kind of C-segmentation and then iterative emerges in a bottom-up approach that ejects in similar regions based on things like the color, the texture, the size, or the shape. Let's imagine that those are the regions and segments that the graph-based segmentation returns, the initial seed. We can clearly see that those regions are quite all over the place and none of them capture the objects of interest in the image. The person on the right and the TV screen sitting next to it. If we run the selective search algorithm for several iterations, we can see that a lot of those small neighboring regions have been merged together and one of them even contains one of the objects of interest in the green box, the TV screen. If we run the selective search for even more iterations, then the number of returned regions diminishes even further and we are able to capture in one of them the other object of the interest, the person sitting next to the TV screen. I won't go into more details regarding the selective search algorithm, but I've added some more resources in the description below if you are interested to find out more. Going back to the RCNN architecture, the model uses the regions proposed by the selective search algorithm and thus dramatically reduces the number of regions compared to the sliding window algorithm. However, there are still several caveats that happen when using this model and we will see in the following parts how they were solved by models like fast RCNN or faster RCNN. The first caveat is that the number of regions, 2000 in the original paper, is still rather high and the RCNN can be used for real-time inference. Secondly, because the output shape of the CNN feature extractor must be fixed for the SVM model, the RCNN model wraps all regions to the same size and thus possibly distorting some of the details found in the region. Another caveat is that it takes a huge amount of time to train the network as you would have to classify 2000 regions proposer per image. 
Also, the selective search algorithm is a fixed algorithm. Therefore, no learning is happening at that stage, which could lead to the generation of bad candidate region proposals. And finally, the RCNN model is not trained in an end-to-end -end fashion, the SVM being trained separately from the CNN model, leading to suboptimal performance in general. And that concludes the video for today. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the rest of the videos in the object detection series. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already to be up to date with the new content. See you next time. Bye bye.